Hi guys and welcome to another video diary and this week I'm going to be showing you why hill climbers are obsessed with cleaning their tyres and also some new technology that I've got this season which is going to make my life a lot easier. Now the first thing is if you've ever been to a hill climb you will notice that all the drivers and teams obsessively clean the tyres between every run. Now this kind of looks a bit odd to anyone who's not really involved in the sport but the whole idea behind it is that because with a hill climb you've only got I mean the UK 30-40 seconds in Europe it's sort of upwards of like two three minutes that kind of time because you've got such a short time on the track the tyres need to be working in their absolute optimum from the moment that you leave the line so on a circuit it's not quite so critical because you're going to do lap after lap after lap tyres will pick up a lot of rubbish like pick up which is like old bits of rubber bits of grit and everything and you can't do anything about that and a hill climb you want them to be perfect and that means fresh sticky rubber on the track as soon as you get to the line no stones or bits of grit in your tyres so you know you're getting the best out of them so to do this there are about two or three ways you can tackle it the first way and what you commonly see at a lot of UK hill climbs is a surf on blade which is one of these it has like um, lots and lots of little blades on it and it's kind of like a cheese grater. Um, you've got handles at each end to grip and what you do is you tend to put like fairy liquid and some water, wet the tyre to make it slide a bit and you physically run this over the tyre to remove the rubber. Now it's quite effective but it's really hard work and if you've got four tyres to do and you're in a rush it's physically quite knackering. I had to do this a lot last season and it was really really hard at some of the races especially via form when it was like 44 degrees C and I had a lot to do and I was just boiling hot and uh, doing the rear tyres especially which are quite wide was not a lot of fun. Right now option two is to use a heat gun which is one of these and then what you typically have is some kind of attachment on the end that you scrape over the tyre and you literally pull off all the old rubber. Now this works really well, um, but there are two problems with it. One, if you don't have mains electric, the heat gun runs off about 1500-2000 watt, so you need a massive generator or like a really good one. And a Honda generator is like a thousand pounds. You know, it's quite a lot of money to spend. If you don't have mains electric, you can't run it because it's just not kicking out enough heat. The other problem with that is that because you're putting the tyre through a heat cycle, you're effectively drying the tyre out a little bit every time you use it. Tyres have a longevity, and so the more you the more you dry them out, the quicker they age, the quicker they lose their kind of stickiness, and so there is that element that you're kind of rapidly degrading the tyres. Okay, so the third option, which is what I now have, is to have some kind of machine that physically rotates the tyre. You can then um, use the surf form blade, but you're not actually physically having to do anything other than hold the blade on the surface of the tyre as it rotates. This removes the old rubber and makes life really easy. Now, I've copied the design of this um, machine off two of my friends, Paul Buckingham and Colin Lemaitre from Guernsey, who kindly um, showed me how to build one. The best way to do it is you get a cement mixer motor, which has got a lot of torque, but doesn't need a lot of current to run it, and you take the motor and gearbox and bolt it to a bracket and then make like a boss that matches up to the hub of the wheel so what you end up with is something that's fairly compact run off a very like fairly humble generator like the one I've got which isn't very good and was very cheap off eBay and uh, you've then got something that's going to make your life very easy um, <clears throat> some of you might have seen the video I put on my Facebook page a few weeks ago of this and uh, I might seem disproportionately excited about it, but you just can't kind of fully grasp how much time and effort it can take to clean your tyres at a race meeting. And to speed that whole process up and make it less physically demanding just means I've got more time to relax, eat, do other things like sit and watch my onboard video, focus on each run, make pace notes, and ultimately make me go quicker as a driver. So for me, it's a pretty critical piece of equipment. I hope you guys found that interesting. I'm going to be making another video on the test day that I do and also got an update coming onto the website, uh, like a blog update. So keep an eye on that and I'll see you all soon. Bye.